morning is Brad and Beverly, Southern Barnwood and Salvage. This morning we're getting ready to pull an order. Customer asked for 250 square feet of barnwood for display. So we marked it out on the, on the ground. Jeez. Best way we can do it right now. And we're going to start pulling his lumber. Way over here. We'll get it all pulled. We'll take a picture. We'll send it to him. We'll get it all stacked up, wrote down. So he just pulls in, we load it up, and he's ready to go. So that's what we get to do this Saturday morning. So just stay tuned and watch us as the wall comes together. Thanks. I was going to show you. So this week we've been working on, Brad has been working on uh, getting the racks filled with everything that we brought back from the cabin or the log house. Um, last Saturday so here you can see Let's see if I can show you some of that wood with these really wide boards but we've got all the racks filled and Brad's pulling the wood right now for that order and so here is you can see here's some of those poplar boards you can see just how beautiful they are we brought those back and pressure wash them and so I'll walk around the back side and you can see there you go so you can see some of there's those poplar boards that was up in the ceiling and uh, walls of the loft and here is some more of the some more of the the other like barnwood type planks one buys you can see how long some of these are. So, from the front side, people don't realize sometimes that they are this long. So, and we've also got, there's some of our chickens. We've also got the shiplap over here. He was working uh, really hard yesterday getting the racks built for all the shiplap, which he is going to, I think, pressure wash it again. Um, needs to be cleaned again. And we've got this bead board. Now this bead board right here came out of a 1938 house that had a chimney fire in part of the house. And so it um, kind of burned, just kind of charred this bead board a little bit right here. But we thought it was still, and it's still usable. We thought it was still, um, still neat. And then we've got the speed board. And we've got some random trim pieces and things. And down here you can see we've got, we've got the tin stacked up that we brought back from the log house. And there's some 2 by 6s um, that we've got. The 2 by 4s we still have to get those inventoried and put on a rack. So that's on the schedule for today as well. Okay, there's two of the chickens are coming over to, to say hi. Whenever they see me, they come running because they think that I have food for them. Which I did give them some bread earlier when we came out. Um, but you can see, there's the ducks. You can see Brad's pulling the wood and the wall is starting to come together. So, I just kind of, here's those, um, those boards. And this is what this customer wanted. He wanted um, mixed widths, mixed coloring, di uh, different wood types, pine, oak. Um, so here is some of those boards. And they really are beautiful. So you can see the walls starting to come together. So as Brad said, we will He'll finish filling in this space, and um, then we will text a picture to the customer. Okay, we're about three quarters of the way through okay. putting this wall together. It's really pretty. But one thing I'm telling Beverly, this is a really pretty board. It's about eight and three quarter inch wide. It's dark colored. And you flip it over. 
I like this side better. Yeah, it's light colored. And so the and whole it's thought kinda is... kind of got the dark spots. Yeah. So the thought is, you know, this wall can be endless possibilities of combinations because every side of the board is going to be different. Yeah. So every height you want a darker wall, a lighter wall. Or like this customer asked, we're mixing it up, dark and light colors. But when he actually ultimately puts it together, it could be anything he wants. So we'll keep putting it together. Let's just see the end. Okay, so we've got this customer's wood pulled and laid out, and I have just texted him a picture of it. Now we are getting ready to pick it up, stack it up, uh, write down, write up his invoice. You can see each board's tagged, so they're all inventoried. So I've got my clipboard. We're getting ready to write that up so we can figure up a total and have his invoice ready. And we can do this for uh, you. This customer's going to come pick it up. This is approximately 250 square feet. So which would be like a 10 by 25 foot space. So, but we will also deliver for a delivery fee. We can uh, pull the wood, text you pictures, text you a total, and we will deliver and we deliver outside of Tennessee as well. So thank you. Hope you enjoyed this and thank you for watching. Bye.